Taj Boyd, quarterback, Clemson University, number 10? Well, it's very exciting for me, um, just because it's something that's new. You know, for the past four or five years, I've pretty much known everything that I was about to do. It's been mapped out, it's been laid out, and now you get to a process where you don't know what's next. So it's all new to me, but at the same time, I'm going to soak it up and embrace it. Um, a lot of new faces, man, and I'm just happy to meet everybody here. Um, I don't do too much. I mean, I'm pretty uh, non-interesting for for the most part. If you now if you sit down and talk with me, you'll figure it out I'm interesting. But for the most part, pretty laid back. I love movies, man. I go to a movie about twice a week, depending on my schedule. I love movies. Uh, I fish a little bit, um, and just transitioning from my hometown back to Clemson, you know, you kind of appreciate different things, different cultures, and. Uh, and I'm a big fan of music, or whatever it is, whether it's country, whether it's jazz. And just my time at Clemson has kind of made sure I've, I've owned that, man. And it's kind of, you know, shaped me. Well, Charleston is, is a pretty unique place in itself. Um, and I enjoy it because I grew up somewhere near the water and uh, love seafood. So if you want to pick some seafood, I mean, Charleston is one of the better places to go. Also, there's so much history and so much culture there. You know, whether it's the music, whether it's the, just the history in Charleston in itself. And the weather is, is always pretty, fairly decent, I should say. It's a little sticky, gets a little humid every now and then, but at the same time, and it's just an enjoyable city. You can always find something to do. Um, Maryland is, uh, I grew up in Virginia, but Maryland is, is always an intriguing place to go, especially in that D.C. area, because there's a lot of different ethnicities, a lot of different culture, a lot of different things that you're not accustomed to and that you don't see uh, in every day, uh, especially at school at Clemson, but, you know, Maryland is great. Um, Florida, most definitely, is one of the better places that I've been to. Got a lot of family out there, and that's where I'm training right now. So, I mean, weather is really nice. I, I couldn't pick a better place to go right now. It's about 70 degrees plus. Uh, and, you know, sit here in January, it's a little freezy out here. So, between that, in my mind, though, Denver is a place that I've been to plenty of times. Never actually been there. But, I mean, I'm looking forward to making a trip out there one day. So, it'll be good. Uh, I have a brother and sister, uh, Sakina and TJ, and uh, sister's older, my brother's a year younger. Uh, my brother, myself, and my dad's birthday is in the same week, so I always thought that was pretty interesting. Um, you know, I kind of uh, more so look like my dad. I got some of my mom features in my face and everything of that nature, but her, her personality is so outgoing and charismatic, and it's something that I picked up just from, from being around her. You know, my dad and brother are a little more on the opposite side of that, kind of laid back, kind of more reserved. And, uh, you know, that's just one of the things that's that's been good for me and my character is, is playing this quarterback role because it's something that, you know, you have to be somewhat of an intriguing person. You got to go out there. You got to be able to meet people. You got to be able to communicate with people. And that's one of the things that I've been able to do my whole life, man. So I think it fits well with, with what I do. The time of day, I actually don't wear uh, nearly enough sweatpants and hoodies. It's never been sort of my thing, so more of a jeans guy, uh, nice little shirt. Uh, when it's time to step out, I throw on a blazer, got some nice little loafers, keep it real smooth. But, uh, you know, I just like that clean image, you know. Obviously, this is a little scruffy right now, but, you know, it's just something that, that kind of fits my character. And, uh, you know, wear Jordans, love uh, the shoes Jordan makes, especially the retros. I don't really wear too much of his new stuff. Do wear hats. Um, big earring guy. You know, I got, some, I got a black diamond and lost the other one during the game, so it was a terrible decision to do that. But um, I try to keep it pretty basic for the most part. Um, salmon is a food that, that I've grown to really appreciate and really love um, because there's different ways that you can, uh, I would say, elaborate on it. Um, I like to cook myself. So anyway, I can kind of figure out a new kind of recipe to kind of mix in with that. It's always good. So my ideal meal would be, you know, a baked potato, some salmon, and some broccoli. I mean, I can eat that every day of the week. Um, like chicken fingers, of course, and things of that nature. But as far as sweets and, and anything, you know, other than just your main, you know, nutritious foods, anything with caramel in it is always an A-plus for me. But, you know, he's, uh, he is, he's very funny. And the thing with him is, some people think it's an act. Some people know that it's genuine and it's true. And he's just a very charismatic person in, in itself. So he's a special kind of coach, a special kind of guy. And it's always been a joy playing for him because he hasn't changed since I met him. Um, but he loves to dance even though he can't dance. 
just one of the things that he does after the game, after every victory, he'll turn on some music and throw his little dance up. It's got better as time went along. But, um, you know, he has this thing and you know that he says, and it's, it's pretty much it's all about Clemson. That's kind of what he says. And when you sit down and when you actually think about it, it correlates directly to life in general. It's not a, about all the other options and all the other things that, that happen in your life, but it's about what you do. It's about you putting yourself in the best situation possible, making sure you're the best representative for everything that you do, and and just making sure that you know whatever you do, you can, can kind of control it to the, to the max that you can. Well, Clemson has been so special to me, um, mainly for the fact that I felt like I've grown in every area of my, of my life, and that's what I was shooting for when I went to school there. And initially, I didn't know what was going to happen as far as my football career went. I was very highly re recruited out of high school, but you know, things kind of change uh, pretty quickly once you get to that level. But you know, I've grown in every aspect of my life, physically, spiritually, mentally, and I couldn't have picked a better place to go. But, um, you know, some of the memories that have been the most significant to me um, have been some of the more recent memories. Um, obviously, the Orange Bowl that we had against Ohio State was a, was a great way to, to end your senior season and a great building block for those younger guys that's, that's getting ready to make that, uh, that leap to next season. And uh, just getting a chance to win the ACC championship a couple years ago, something that we hadn't done in about 20 plus years. So for us to be able to bring that back home and, and bring that trophy back to Death Valley was pretty special to me. It's definitely something that you should see if you've never been there, because I feel like it is the most uh, unique entrance in college football. Now, I used to really enjoy running down the hill early in my career, but as time went along, man, I started to feel older, my body started to feel older, and I kind of somewhat galloped and walked sideways along the hill, but definitely an enjoyable experience, man. And, and I feel like, you know, you don't appreciate it enough until it's gone. You know, so my last time running down the hill was senior day against the Citadel. And man, I got the, the largest and the most warm uh, embrace that I could ever imagine. I and mean, it was just a special moment for me. Yeah, you know, I'm somewhat of an emotional guy, but not too much. Uh, I only tear up for certain things. And you know what, man, that, that may be a moment because it's the, the culmination of things that you have done to get to this point. And uh, you finally feel like that work has paid off. Now, obviously, once you get drafted, you know, you got to make that transition, become the best player you possibly can be at that level. But it's going to be a special day. I'm going to have my family beside me, um, really close friends, and, and just people who have been there to support me throughout uh, all the adversity and all the things that I went through during my tenure, uh, not just in college, but in high school as well. So. I'm excited for that day, man. I just can't wait for it. This is your quarterback here, Taj Boyd. Clemson will forever be in my heart. I will forever be indebted to the university. Um, I bleed orange all in all the time, and I love you guys. Go Tigers.